Hey guys, it's Tom here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got some more Luna TV for us. We start off on episode 60. Uh, we just met Yojin in episode 59, where they were all kind of clowning on her for being small, but she's small. That's just the facts, right? Uh, so let's go. Luna TV 60 till whenever. Little baby Yojin, little baby Yojin. The girl, Iceland. Iceland was the best. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. <laughs> She's a liar. Let me move this so I can see the captions a little bit better. Do -do -do -do. So they're going to Taiwan. Is this where they did my Sunday My Melody then? <laughs> Let's go see the sights as we get in the car and immediately pass out. First trip overseas. She's the oldest one at the moment because Vivi's the oldest, right? Vivi's the oldest in Luna, right? And obviously Yoja and Armakane. So. <laughs> oh my goodness. She has a lot to learn from me. I mean, hustle, that's why you're a leader, right? Look at Proud Mom. <laughs> He's just like, I'll still play, it's fine. But it's cold now. <laughs> she doesn't even bother me when she's just, she just... I'll film a commercial for the air conditioning. <laughs> hey, Hyunjin just, she just wants to be in commercials, I guess, right? She wants an earring commercial. She wants to do an AC commercial. She don't want to be an aisle. She just wants to be in commercials. <laughs> I'm convinced all idols are just absolute dorks. Uh, you can't, you can't change me other, convince me otherwise. She pretends to be pretty. <laughs> she doesn't have to pretend that hard. None of them do. Let's be real. Last day of filming. Show me the dog. Thank you. I was about to get mad if they didn't show the dog. Like, how are you going to talk about a dog and not show me the dog, you know? He's like, nope, I'm out. Oh, 
<laughs> Poor Heejin. That's what it's like when people try to 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 hang out with my dog. My dog is um I don't say he's antisocial. He's anti new people. Um and like he's he's a daddy's boy if you will. Like he'll he'll do anything for me, but other than that, most other people that try to like pet him, feed him treats or whatever, he he's not about that life unless she, he knows you knows you. He's kind of he's kind of weird. Puppy. How are you feeling? It's fun. You don't look happy. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> No more questions. I'm out of here. <laughs> From Crayon, what? Such a dork, dude. Hima Nohara from Korean Shinchan. I have no idea what the hell that is. She's like, no. It's pretty close. Because <laughs> I've been trying to make her practice. <laughs> Dorks. Can I act cute? Pork years old? Did pork pork years old? <laughs> food. Idols love food. You say Hossi look like crap, is that what she said? Oh, carp, a carp. <laughs> a fish, okay. Hyunjin is savage. <laughs> she, she's like, hey, come on. <laughs> I know it all. I 
후식 식사 사진 지성 성아 악어 어장 장어 어. 내 이사님이야. 이사님. 이사님. 이제 왜 이래 나올 때까지. 아이 걸음이. 이사님. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I almost forgot today's Christmas though. <laughs> really can't do anything, yeah. Are all my sisters sleeping? And then she's passed out shortly after. Look, the cat's taking pictures. 2016년 12월 25일 대만에서의 크리스마스 매우 날씨가 좋습니다. Working on Christmas. Been there. I work in the restaurant industry. Thankfully, the restaurant I work at now does not open on Christmas. But Yojin and the Space Buns. Of course they want street food. I mean, I want, I always, street food? Stri so, okay, so look, I work at a steakhouse, right? I've also worked at nicer restaurants in my, my city and whatnot, as well as a couple other cities in the state that I'm in. Street food is always some of the best food that you can ever get. It doesn't matter where you are. Country, any, like any country that you go to, street food is almost always the best food that you can get, man. Like that's like, don't get me wrong. There's beautiful restaurants all over the world and they serve beautiful, fantastic meals. It's just something about street food that just, it just hits on another level. And it's just, it's really good. And I don't know why, but street food is lit. Oh, I muted. Taiwanese fried chicken. <laughs> you forgot, right? It's just the start, yep. Mimi! Okay, so this will be the last one I watch then. <laughs> Everything's unfamiliar and awkward to her. Hong Kong and New Zealand? Okay. <laughs> Looks like a youngest member. I mean, facts. 
They don't care. And that's how they're assuming. Like, <laughs> look at Yunjin's Yeonj like. <laughs> she's like, y'all are full of shit right now. Y'all just want to eat them. <laughs> she ain't buying it. She ain't buying it. She's like, both of y'all are full of shit right now. <laughs> but I'm going to eat it anyways. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. <laughs> All right, we stop there. We stop there. We continue next week on Luna TV number 80. All right, so we get to see they all apparently just like to really pick on each other, which you love to see that they get along well. Uh, y'all were mentioning in the comments that they, they kind of knew each other from the training days and stuff, uh, especially early on. And then obviously, I think y'all mentioned that Y by by Y were the ones who were a little bit later to join training and whatnot. So they're a little bit more reserved potentially when they're around the other members, but the other members were pretty much all in training together before that point. So even though they're slowly being introduced as members of Luna, they at least knew each other from training. So that being said, you can definitely tell that there's a dynamic of, of sisterhood already forming from the beginning, which is, you love to see that because it means even when they're, you know, not necessarily working, because there's always people in your life and professionally that you work with that you don't necessarily like or get along with. But that's just, it's work. You put it aside and, and you work together. But to, when you have to like live with these people and whatnot, it, you, you hope that you get along. And it's great to see that they do. And they like clowning on each other, which I love. And this Latin, the last one, 79, you know, where they were trying to say, you know, the fruit's not washed. So, yeah, you know, sometimes it's good for your health, you know, it changes up the biotics and things of that nature. And Hyunjin's just looking at them both, like Heejin and Hoss are like, y'all are fucking crazy. Don't tell me that shit. Just let's just eat the strawberries and enjoy them for what they are, right? But other than that, you guys let me know what y'all thought about these few Luna TVs. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Cheers to you guys, and we'll see y'all in the next one.